Hello, San Diego and beyond. We're here to share all the treasures that we've got. There's a pirate in the master's chair, ready to pilot us on this magical affair. Share your story, share your word. Spread your joy, let your voice be heard. Feel it out. Hoist your sails and Life's to catch the, the wind. It's time for you San to Diego. So hoist your sails and, and catch the wind. It's time to San Diego show. Welcome to Mount Felix Foundation. Give them a big round of applause. So, Mount Helix Foundation. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware, there is a very magical and enchanting place called Mount Helix. And I've been up there many a time whenever I just want to think about stuff, watch a gorgeous sunset. Uh, you take a special someone up there, or you just want to go exercise on the steps. There's a beautiful cross at the very top. There's these stone carved steps uh, and an amphitheater. Uh, but way before all that was built, there was a lot of history uh, that went into building this place, uh, leading up to the amazing event that's coming up right around the bend. But before all that happened, there was a family who donated that land for that very special place. It's a private park, but it's open to the public. Uh, but the Fletcher family, the famous, infamous family of San Diego, uh, we actually are very honored to welcome Eric Fletcher, descendant of the original Master Fletcher who donated the land. Give him a big round of applause. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. All right, so. I want a history lesson first before we dive into the actual event itself. Um, so Eric, what's it like being a descendant of someone that inspirational that donated that land for, for such a special place to be built? It's very special and it's uh, something I'm very, very proud of. Um, my great grandfather came out here in the late 1800s and got uh, interested in land development when he purchased the neighboring mountain, Grossmont. And that was back in the 1906-ish, 1910 area, uh, around that time frame. Uh, he later bought Mount Helix and um, uh, developed it and uh, made a, uh, with the help of a very prominent family back east, a, uh, an amphitheater that uh, the city, the county of San Diego can be very proud of one of the oldest parks in San Diego and uh, has had the uh, um, had a Teddy Roosevelt, one of our, I think it was the 26th president. Wow. Was up there. Really? Around. Yeah, Mount Helix. Yeah. No, now that's history. That's cool. I did not know that. I, I didn't know that either. Yeah, that's awesome. So what's it like being up there? For those, if somebody's listening right now and they have, they're from San Diego or maybe it's somebody that's about to visit San Diego, you know, give us your best description of what makes that place so enchanting, Mount Helix. There is not another piece of property in East San Diego, East County, that has the views that this particular parcel has. Um, it's very special to me because of my family's involvement. It's uh, the one piece of property that you have a 360 degree view. Um, the, the amphitheater, the cross on the top of the mountain, the eucalyptus trees, the, the boulders, the natural boulders that are already up there that, that have been reworked and, you know, have little uh, balconies made out of them. It's just a special place and uh, the weather seems to always be a little nicer up there and it's, it's a little bit of uh, East County slice of heaven. A very, very good friend of mine named Brett Haywood, who's a infamous photographer. I know uh, him. Do you know him? Yes, I do. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a great friend. Um, he's one of the only people I know that has ever captured a double rainbow as it happened right in front of him. And it happened on Mount Helix. Mm -hmm. And he is very, 
very proud of that photo. Right. And it, it is just like one of those one in a million shot where he was in the right place at the right time and he captures this double rainbow there. Um, but I just think that that is just a small taste of how special that place is because I've seen people take their Sweet 16 photos up there, their wedding photos, engagement photos, uh, birthday photos, or just plain amateur to expert photography, as I mentioned. You know, it, it just embodies everything enchanting that you can possibly have. Now, Kathy White, who is the co-chair of Heart of Mount Helix event, would you enlighten us on what that's all about? Sure. Um, about five years ago, when the park was um, having some issues of getting uh, funds raised and we were trying to finish the electronic gates that help with the security of the park to open and close at sunset and then um, open again at dawn, um, those needed to be finished and they were lacking funds to do it. And I had come on the board um, as a board member and thought, well, why don't we do a fundraiser? We have this beautiful park, this beautiful amphitheater. Why don't we use this to showcase it and put on a show, so to speak? And we got a committee together of, at that time, maybe about 10 people who uh, all came together for that cause of helping to support the park and see what we could do. Well, that was where we came up with the idea that the heart, meaning that it was Mount Helix, combined with art, because Mount Helix was originally an artist colony that um, established that area years ago. And so we thought, well, let's put on art of all kinds. So we have food art, we have uh, visual art, and we have entertainment art that Nicole can talk about where we have performers going on all night long. And so we raised the money to finish the gates. And, and you have a fellow co-chair right here next to me. Now, Diane, we're sharing microphones, so don't be scared. You won't catch whatever it is I have, I promise you. Except coolness. Just kidding. Oh. I'm kidding. Wow. See, I just wanted to see Ben Varela's eyes roll again. Did you actually go there? So, Diane, please wow. uh, enlighten us on to what it was like putting together this event. Oh, it was absolutely fabulous. I, our committee is probably the most incredible committee I've ever been a part of in my entire life. These are these are men and women who have day jobs, you know, work full time, and come to this committee and just absolutely get it done. And everybody has a specialty. Everybody just rolls up their sleeves and gets it done. So it's dives it's, right in. It's fabulous. And. One of those people is Nicole Roberts. Yes, I have the best job of all. Ooh. I get to go out and solicit all the fun music <laughs> entertainment, <laughs> which I love. I love music. I love going out in the community and approaching musicians and asking them if they'll donate their time for our event. And um, it's amazing the support that we get from our local East County talent. Who are some of the acts that uh, we're going to be seeing here at the... We have a pre-show that starts at 5.30. Acts run every half an hour, and we've, we're starting off with Rock P, who is a saxophonist, and then we move into the Benedetti Trio, which is a family affair. Um, father and two daughters, they're amazing, they'll be singing. We know them. We know them very, songs. very, very well, yeah. Yeah. And then um, after that, we have a, a new up and coming duo from East County. They're uh, two females, um, Ophelia Vibe, vocalist and guitarist. And then after them, we have a Patsy Klein tribute artist, wow. Louise Patsy. And then um, from there, we will be previewing our headliner act, the Coast Riders. And these are a real fun group of guys that are just so excited to be there. The lead singer has been playing around Mount Helix since he was five years old. So you can imagine, he's really excited. You really want to be in a really cool spot on that day? Go right by where those acoustic performances are going to be, right next to the cross, because that's where the sun's going to be setting. So. If you're a boyfriend that screwed up really bad, or a husband that got home too late with his buddies, that's a really good place to do a little slow dancing and win the lady over. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. How do you know that so well? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I. It's a very familiar road for me. I know all those spots around San Diego County. Trust me. We could um, do a whole show on. Them. Oh <laughs> yes. Um, Eric, what what's it like, Eric Fletcher? What's it like seeing this big high to do event at a place where that means so much to your family? You know, it's absolutely awesome because, you know, this park is open 365 days a year. Uh, it's always open, dust to dawn. We have zero f funding that comes in. The only 
for sure funding we get every year is about $1,600 uh, and that's from a foundation that was developed years ago and um, it's the only money we really count on and it, and it, it costs a considerable amount of money to, to run this park, a lot more than what people think and uh, we have to keep an eye on graffiti and landscaping and paying water bills and you know property tax bills and that sort of thing, insurance. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot to go into it and uh, this particular committee here puts on one heck of a party uh, one heck of a fundraiser, it raised, we raised, you know, a considerable amount of money for the betterment of this park, operate it and, and make some capital improvements, and it's just, you know, it, we have to have this, and, and these ladies have done a great job, and they just keep making it better and better and better. So every single dollar raised will go strictly for the upkeep. It's all going right back to the beautiful and enchanting park that is Mount Helix. Personally, I would love um, some R&D research and development to go into an anti-graffiti program. And if they could highly train some skunks <laughs> to just wait with a spray for can. those really naughty, naughty people that show up with a spray can and they just get doused, man, by nature's perfume. Mm -hmm. you know. I have one under my deck. I could there, there you go. See? Now, hopefully Pete is not listening, but I'm telling you, these will be very highly compensated skunks. Okay? But all kidding aside, this group came together to put on an amazing event. Um, Nicole, can I get the nuts and bolts of the event and the cost and uh, the raffles and the prizes and the dancing and the food and the cocktails? Nuts and bolts. This thing goes down Saturday, September 15th. 5.30 to 10 p.m. Uh, parking is down below at the fire station at Grossmont High School. Uh, tickets are still available. Um, tickets are $50 a person, and that includes all the food that um, is donated from uh, local restaurants, and the menus are amazing. Apothe Catering, mm -hmm. Auntie M's Cup and Cake Bakery, BMH Italian Deli, Gingham's in La Mesa, mm -hmm. Grove Pastry Shop, Hacienda yeah. Casablanca, one of our underwriters. Hooli's Irish Pub and Grill, one of our future underwriters. Craig Hooli will be Riviera's back. Supper Club, Rubio's Fish Tacos in La Mesa, Starbucks, Terra American Bistro, and are we forgetting anybody? Oh, Anthony's. Anthony's, right there in La Mesa, who is uh, somebody who's been around La Mesa for quite a while. Um, so this is the heart of Mount Helix 2012. Make sure you're there, because if you're not, you're really going to miss out. So what website can they go to to get more info? MountHelixPark.org And we also have a signature cocktail, Alchemy, which is a nice uh, South Park uh, bistro is doing a signature cocktail for us. It's, it's, called, it's called Alchemy? Alchemy. Well, Alchemy is the restaurant. Is the restaurant. And it's Little did you guys know we have an alchemist right here behind the board. <laughs> so it's can you called, describe it? Yes, it's called the Old Grove Melonade. It's with Ballast Point Gin, the freshest melon that's available that night, lemon fresh lemon juice, and a little sweetener. And it's to die for. I just died. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God. Can you, can you see that? My mouth just watered. We also have three fine artists that will be performing live for their demonstrations. We have a watercolorist, we have a welder, a sculptor, and we also have a wood turner. Wow. Wood pieces. During this. So, it's amazing. Yes, it really is. So we're going to experience art of all kinds at the Heart Walk, and emphasis on art in Heart of Mount Helix, 2012. And if you're lucky, ask for Eric Fletcher. He may just jump behind the bar and make you an alchemy. <laughs> yeah? I'll, I'll do that if you come. All right, you got it. I'll make one for you if you make one for me. You got it. All right, extra gin on Give them a big round of applause. The Mount Helix Foundation, please. Make sure you're there. Once again, it's Saturday, September 15th. Be there. We look forward to seeing you too, Sam. All right. Sounds Hello, good. Hello, San Diego Melody. and the Old Melody. Okay. We're from, here to share our show. From that, yeah. Don't ask them out the weekend because they're going to owe me money. There's a pirate. <laughs> In the mass Old Grove Melonade. Can you remember that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, God. Yeah. I will be there as the pirate. But just, just yeah. for like the first hour. Because yeah. it gets very cold. Okay. 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 And then I'll need a... Melonade. Yeah. Melonade. Yeah. 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 Old Grove Melonade.
Show to begin. 